Welcome to Glaucoma Case Files. I'm Arsham Shaibani here joined with faculty from NYU, Manjul Shaw, John Williams, a.k.a. Robin Hood and Little John. We got, we got his chair lower just so he's like at the same balance height here. Um, you know, Manjul, really kind of pretty interesting case. In Ahmed's, it's been done for a while, obviously, but there are still nuances to this stuff. Um, can you take us through kind of like your thought process with how your technique with Ahmed's has changed and what the case was like. Yeah, so so I've made a few modifications to my technique. Again, it's a tried and true uh, you know technology. Been around for decades, right? Um, so the few things that are kind of the failure points of Ahmed's is uh, that er we think that early aqueous presentation results in that hyperencapsulation, and maybe some of it is related to plate geometry. Plate, yeah. Well, we can't do something too much about the plate geometry yet. We hope maybe one day we will. Um, certainly there's something to be said for modifying uh, the, the tissue response. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and so the two things we've been doing, <clears throat> number one, we use uh, a pretty large bolus of uh, trimcinolone. Mm -hmm. And what we found is that reduces some of the, some of the inflammation, some of the choroidal uh, activity that we mm -hmm. often see. I mean, these are often uh, sicker eyes yeah. that are getting Ahmed's where they're having sudden decompressions. Yeah. And very often around that day three, we get some, uh, some choroidal. And the other thing we've been doing uh, over the last year or so is using uh, mitomycin. Okay. And so again, the evidence base for mitomycin with Ahmed's is, is somewhat mixed and variable. Mm -hmm. And you know, we, we, I think we, we could all benefit from some higher quality data. Yeah. Um, but the way we're using mitomycin is, is perhaps a little different. In, in historical uh, studies, mm -hmm. they've uh, placed mitomycin typically on pledgets. Yeah in the pocket mm -hmm. prior to uh, suturing the plate down. Right, right. And then plus or minus uh, post-operative injections. Like sometimes the issue, like early papers showed maybe rates that were not, people were not comfortable with as far as like plate erosions, which is a bear to treat. Right. Um, but maybe you can like speak to like how the MMCs applied, like the way you guys are doing it. Yeah. yeah. So. I, I don't think we've seen a plate erosion yet, and mm -hmm. at least in, anecdotally for us. Um, we inject it over the plate at the end of the case, like you said, and I think where that, you, that's Where are you drag, putting the needle in as far as like the puncture site? Because sometimes that could make a difference. Temporally, yeah. and then we'll tunnel it in over the plate. Okay.